So what you can also do inside of Microsoft Clipchamp is add in text and then format out text as per how you like it. So to do that over here on the left side, you can see text is an option. So you simply got to click around over here and here you can see plain text is an option. You can go around and click on the text right here and then click and drag it right here just like this to place around the text and you got a text layer around over here. Let me just go around and delete, delete this text layer and on the top you can see add text is an option as well. If I were to go around and click right here, just like this, so just go around and click on add text, then it, it will open up the text just like this as well. Even if I'm in other areas, I can click on add text and you can see that the text panel opens up. So you can go around and select out a plain text or different presets that you have right here. Let me just work around with the plain text in this video uh, tutorial right here and then collapse this out. So here you can go around and type in whatever you want right here. So I'm just going to go around and say, keep on learning right here, just like this to the tube, keep on learning. And you can see that this is a text. You can feed it in and out right here, just like with any other video clips right here. So you can see that uh, it just goes out. Um, let me just go around onto the beginning, press the play button. It fades in and out right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select out the text and here you can see that you can add in filters, of course, but there's text specific option as well. For example, you can click on edit text and it'll select out the text so that you can further edit it according to how you want. You can go around and select out different fonts that you see right here. For example, you can click on this one, but right now no changes takes place. That is because you need to select out the text and then change around the text right here and the selected text simply changes out to the style that you select right here as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and select this one. Once I do that, I can select out different font styles there may be. For example, for this one, there's only one font style, but over here for uh, Goodyear, you can see that there's bold font style right here. So you can select it out right here. But let me just go around and select this. So another thing that you can do is you can work around with font size. You can increase and decrease the font size right here as well. And then you can go around and change around, let's say, the font size by typing in the correct values just like this as well. Or you can go around and drag it out. You can work around with the alignment. So you can left align the text. And in this case, you can see it is taking this bounding box that you have right here as the reference. You can center align it and right align it over here as well. I'm just going to go around and center line it. You can bold this out or just remove the bold or italicize out the text as well by choosing the style. You can change around the color of the text by clicking on the color option and by selecting out different colors as you please right here. You can also go around add in a hex code or you can click on the color picker right here and then choose around the color that you want and even adjust out the transparency for the color that you choose for the text. You can click around over here to go back. You can go around over here and change the transparency just like this by typing as well. But let me just go around, keep it 100. Or you can go around, make it completely transparent right over here as well. Or go around and type in 100 to get it back as well, just like this. So this is the color option that you have. And apart from it, you can see that the position of the text is right now in the center. So you can also go around and drag it manually as you can see right here. So you can drag it manually over here. You can just go around and click the text and then move it around onto the left, onto the bottom right here, just like this. Or you can go around onto the text and simply click on the position to keep it on the top left, bottom right, uh, and so forth, just like this as well, so that the position is exact right here. You can also go around, change around the bounding box size if you want to change it out right here just like this so that it works around accordingly. You can go around and type this in and as I bring in the bounding box right here, you can see that it goes around and you can push this in just like this as well or pull it out right here. And that is how you can go around and then change around the uh, uh, option for the text as you can see right here and format it as per how you like inside of Microsoft Clipchamp. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.